Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. One of the most useful tools in Workbench is the Scope tool. It can be used during setup of a new drive or used to troubleshoot a system that's already in place. To begin, I set up my units, limits, and motion tasks for a simple rotary operation and a digital input to trigger the motion. I will be working in degrees and four motion task segments have been tied together to create an absolute move of 90, 180, 270, and 0 degrees. Between each move is a 250 millisecond dwell. The scope will open with default settings that will allow a short recording of data. First we will set up our channels. We can record up to six channels of data and the drop-down box allows us to select the parameters to be recorded. To change the parameter, simply click on the drop-down and scroll down to the parameter desired. To add a parameter, click into the drop-down of an empty channel. We are adding the digital input, which will start the motion task. We are changing from current feedback to position. Our recording will now have the position, command and velocity, actual velocity, and our digital input. Time base and trigger allows the recording time to be changed as well as the point that will trigger the recording. The recording time can be set by using two different methods. The first is simple, set the recording time in milliseconds. A more advanced method is to adjust the sample frequency in Hertz and the number of samples. As these are adjusted, the recording time will change as well. The trigger allows us to adjust when the recording will begin. Immediate will start the recording as soon as the start recording is clicked. This can be useful in most applications, but to record at the same point in the move, we must set the trigger. While other trigger types will be discussed in the advanced scope segment, the focus here will be type 2, on source signal. This allows us to select the parameter on which to trigger the scope. In our example, we will be triggering off the velocity commanded. The level is set to 1 to prevent it from triggering too soon. Position is the window ahead of the trigger point in milliseconds. When the system is armed, it basically starts recording data. When the scope is triggered, it will keep all the data it recorded ahead of the trigger based on the time. Slope tells the scope to trigger off the positive or negative portion of the parameter. If your motion is anti-clockwise, you would want to trigger off the negative portion. Our first move is clockwise so we will trigger off the positive slope. We arm the scope and start our move. The scope is triggered. Data is recorded. Data is received. And the data is displayed. We can see the position window ahead of the digital input. The scope displays position, velocity commanded, and the velocity feedback. At this point, the scope plot can be saved as an image, or as a CSV file, or printed. The scope tool is very powerful and can be used to benchmark a system, troubleshoot a system, or used to help improve performance. Keep an eye out for our future segments on advanced use of the scope. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I hope to see you next time.